If you could please come on stage and just have a seat and we'll start off with Chris. The representative for the aunties. Nicholas, so Chris, you can start off. God is good, and all the time, right. I'm reading a tribute on behalf of the sister-in-laws and the brother-in-laws. Words cannot pick you to be our brother-in-law. We would give anything to hear your voice again. We miss you. We miss your laugh, and we miss your countenance. During these past three months, when you were unwell, we learned just how strong and resilient you are. You gently and steadily, you fought the pain. You fought the You are gone. You, are, you definitely won our hearts. You touched our lives with your kindness, kindness, caring, and loving, peaceful nature. On behalf of our entire family, both here and abroad, we wish you farewell. You will surely be missed. Rest in perfect peace. We love you, bro, till we meet again. Amen. God is good. He's still on the throne. Um, I, am, um, I am Mrs. Kawero. I'm a sibling to Patrick's dad, um, Michael. And I'm going to read. Uh, we are two of us we, who you read uh, on behalf of uncles and aunties. And I'll start. Our dear son, Patrick. The life of the one we love is never lost. Its influence goes on through the lives it has ever touched. This is the case with you, Patrick. You have this in infectious smile and an amazing sense of humor that lit, that lit our household. We, that is, aunties and uncles, Agree that you have exhibited an aura that seemed to radiate some excitement around your presence wherever you went. It is not once or twice that we had shouts of calling, calls, calling Pato, Pato, if from this, your sibling cousins every time you are cited during our family gatherings. How excited they were. And how your face would grow, glow as you said hello to each one of us. This we cannot forget. Yes, you have left a fragrance in our hearts that you'll be with us as long as we live. Fear with thee well, our dear son. Our concerns are at peace, no more pain. In God's loving hands, we release you. Till we meet again. Amen.
Good morning, church. My name is Jen Mwangi. I'm here on behalf of the family of Gakenya, where the mother of Patrick comes from Mama Sister to Mama Patrick. And I'm the youngest in the family of Gakenya. And Patrick was our son and our first son. And, uh, but uh, also to me, he was a brother. He was a young brother to me because we are very close at age and there are many things that we did together. So I'll keep that memory in me. The many things that we did when we were staying at my sister's place. And uh, the one that I'm reading is for Auntie Mobs, which represents the family of Gakenya because we lived in that house. And that was part of us as a family. It is with heavy and broken heart I'm penning this tribute about my beloved nephew, son, Patrick. Never in my wildest dreams did I expect him to go before me. That is us. The almighty Lord has taken him away from us. But we never question his actions. Pato, or big fella, as I always called him, was great. Loving, charming, and always the life and soul in my family gatherings. I would dearly miss him and his infectious smile and laughter. However, he has sorry, and I wasn't there. I'm sorry, I wasn't there to say my farewell. But my promise and Solomon vow to both of you is I will do my level best to be there in any way possible you my last breath. That is to Catherine and your son. Catherine and your son, you know we love you as a family and we shall be there. May the Lord be with you and may the Lord walk with you. Bon voyage fella and see you on the other side of lots of love. God bless you. morning, church. My name is Nicholas Mohinde Kaweru. I read this as a representative of the cousins of Patrick. Tribute to our cousin Pato. Those we have held in our arms fold in our hearts forever. Words cannot express the shock and utter disbelief we, your cousins, feel right now. We pray that God feels in our hearts. We can only pray for acceptance. We will miss your smile, your warm hugs, your stories. Oh, you had stories for days. Family gatherings will never be the same. Your passing has taught us to be more intentional as cousins, to make that phone call, to meet up, to reach out. Patrick, our magnet, the one who is. Your personality type meant that you valued genuine connection with others and invested deeply in your relationships with us. We know this to be true because you loved us individually and cared enough to make the effort with every conversation we had. No one was ever left out with you. If someone was 